I feel like to assume I have the power to do anything to a whole organization is crediting me a lot. The first thing I thought of was meanest thing I've ever done. Well, there's two mean things I've done. They're both to Matt Meese. The first one is back in college in Divine Comedy. It was a best of show. I wanted to prank him because that's what friends do. We cut out a bunch of like pictures of his face that were like the size of his actual face from this picture we did for the cast. And we put like popsicle sticks on the back and we passed them out to the audience. So anytime Matt said a line, people would hold up their Matt face. I remember we performed, it was just me and him performing a sketch. We looked out into the audience and there was all these creepy Matt, I think maybe even we cut out the eyes. And he looked at me like he was gonna murder me and it was really funny. Second meanest thing I've ever done to Matt Meese is make him do a hundred pushups for this video. So the rules, just to clarify, always in this position, this is resting and this is a full pushup. Not this. No knees. Even for breaks. Even for breaks. This. This is a break. That's a break. Okay. That's his rule. That wasn't even put upon you. Woo! Oh, God. I'm here for moral support. <laughs> okay. Once I enter this position, it's that's it. That's We're it. there until doomsday. Oh, doomsday. Okay. Woo! Here we go! Stacy's just gonna be working out in the background. That quarantine life. Okay. Ready? Sit. <laughs> That's ten. Twenty. Okay. That's funny. And now, ready? We see. The beginning of the end. It's 45 for me. You gotta make it to 50, Mies. Use your knees, Mies. Hey, it takes wisdom to know when to use your knees. There's no way I'm doing 50 more of these. Ah. What if What if we say this is also a rest? Should have put Icy Hot on all of me. All right. Well, another set of 50 and we're done. 50. Oh. I'm a home stretch. I'm on, I'm on 80. Oh, are you? <laughs> I'm the modified, the modified version. It's not about the body anymore. It's about the mind. My mind can do 35 more push-ups. Maybe it can't. Oh, boy. This As carpet my... is sinking in. <laughs> 17 more. No, 27. <laughs> Come on, we do it together! 25 push-ups never seem so daunting. <laughs> Making you laugh when you do push-ups is extremely difficult too. I have to go to the knees! I'm on the knees! 20 more! Can I bend my elbows? Okay, Steven's gonna do it. Give me your life energy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up on 10. To make you feel strong. Oh, I don't feel anything. Two. 15 Lucky. more! That's 16 more. Okay, now 15 more. 14 more! 10! 8! There's a lot of asterisks happening <laughs> with this performance. I'm on the knees. I gave it everything I could. <laughs> and if I ever find the person who <laughs> dared me to do this, they will pay. When it became too hard, I would have carried you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, and I was assigned uh, Stacy, and I'm supposed to give him a truth challenge. So his question will be, if he had to switch places with someone in the group, who would he most be okay with down to who would he be least okay with ranking all of us and why? So, I had a really hard time doing this. So I worked, I worked from who I would least want to be. First and foremost, uh, the more kids you have, the more it made me l less likely to want to be you. Because if we had to like switch lives, I don't want to inherit like all your kids. The person I would least likely want to be is Jeremy right now. Because Jeremy has a beautiful, good-sized family. Luckily, all his kids are like really cool and Katie's like amazing. But Jeremy has a big family and he just has a newborn. And I don't want that right now. <laughs> I like sleeping when I want and waking up when I want. Okay, so least likely Jeremy. I'm so sorry, Jeremy. This person is incredibly brilliant, um, but this is also really intimidating. 
James is doing so much right now. He's like working on a master's uh, and he's super smart and he's always got like a ton of projects going on and I do not want to inherit that. So I don't want to go back to, I don't want to be in school right now. I don't want that. So James is next. So Jeremy, James, I'm just going to throw it out there. The next person is Jason. <laughs> all the J's. Jeremy, James, and Jason. I feel like him, his life and my life are just so different. What put Jason up higher on the list is I do think his wife, Jenny, I do think she has a cool vibe. I think I would get along really well with her um, because I'm assuming if we switched lives, I'd still be gay. So we would just be like really good friends, just like co-parenting. I don't know. Next would be Adam. I love Adam to death and he is wickedly talented and I want his skill, but Adam also has like really bad luck. <laughs> I, can't, I can't handle that right now. I can't afford that. <laughs> From a medical sense and all over, he was like rear-ended like three times in a month once. And I was like, my ecosystem is fragile enough. I can't handle that. Next, who I would not want to be, um, Steven. <laughs> he has a lot of kids. So that would be like, woo, he's got three kids. Um, all of them like a close age range. What makes Steven higher up on the list is I do think Whitney, his wife, and I would just like vibe super well. Next, oh, above Steven. Now, this is tough, because I, I couldn't decide between the two, but probably it would be between Natalie and Whitney, because I think they have like similar lifestyles to me. They're like pretty busy people. They like working out at the top of the morning. They do have lots of children. I think I could like, we could switch lives and it wouldn't be as much of a jolt. Also, I freaking love Natalie's family. Her in-laws threw me a birthday party once. Like, they're just like, I normally go to their house for Thanksgiving, so family-wise, we'd slide right in. The above Nat Win and Whitney would be Mallory. I feel like Mad Mallory's like this free bird. She's like following her life, doing her thing. She's in LA, living her truth. And I'm like, that's so cool. Mal like is does a lot. She like carries things on her shoulders. And so I'd be like, and I know this dude, Reese's gonna love this, but that leaves at the top of who I'd most likely wanna be, Matt. <laughs> Which I hate to say, because Matt and I have this like, kind of like, jesty like rivalry. Jesty. We jest a lot, we teasy rivalry kind of vibe. But the thing about Matt is like, we're roommates. He's one of my best friends. And we like, our lives are kind of similar in a lot of ways. So it would just be like moving rooms. If I became Matt, I wouldn't have kids. I'd have very similar, like access to things that I do now, it would just be like such a smooth transition. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna be honest and I'm not trying to be mushy or cheesy. This exercise made me realize how much I enjoy, like how much I like myself, how much I like my life. And if, if there was an option to switch, I wouldn't do it. But I'm gonna end this extending a challenge. This is a dare and I'm daring Jason Luann Gray to model outfits that belong to his wife. <laughs> Get on it, Gray. Steven, uh, here's your challenge. Here, here it be. I want you to steal toilet paper from Matt Mises' household. Now, Matt, for those of you who don't know, lives with Stacy and Adam, and we all know that toilet paper is in uh, high demand right now. So, these days, that's like stealing someone's baby. You get one point if you steal it from at the toilet paper from Adam's bathroom, because. Adam, uh, like myself, isn't the most observant person. Two points if you take it from Meese. Matt has a, his own private bathroom, so you'd have to like, I think it'd be a little bit more difficult. Three points if you take it from Stacy Harkey. The reason it's three points is because Stacy's much more particular about his stuff, and I guarantee Within two minutes of you taking his toilet paper, the hounds would be released as 
a comedian and someone who enjoys entertainment, I encourage you to go after Stacy. As a friend, though, I I encourage you to avoid Stacy. It's Saturday morning, and Jason has dared me to steal a precious commodity from Matt Meese's house. Toilet paper. I should honestly go over there right now because no one will be awake for like three hours. Also, to up the ante, I'm gonna throw away our last pack of toilet paper so that this dare is life or death. No turning back. I'm gonna park down the street and sneak in the back. This suddenly feels so much more dangerous. No! I come over here to edit all the time, so I'll just have to pretend like I'm here to edit. You know. It feels like it'd be a cop out to steal toilet paper from the upstairs bathroom. So I, I have to figure out how to do it from the downstairs. Yeah. For life. It's on. It's on mic me. It's talking to me at the end. I don't know. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so stupid. <laughs> ah, I dropped one. I feel like I should get out of here quickly in case he realizes what I took. There's no way he wasn't suspicious. <laughs> Noticed anything? Ah, oh, he knows what I've done. He knows what I've done. Oh, I was honestly gonna steal several rolls of toilet paper over the course of a day to just make the dare more interesting, but with Stacy there, I think I think that worked out. <laughs> so now, Adam, truth. If you could kill someone in JK Studios in order to keep Minecraft forever, who would it be? Why them? How would you do it? Inquiring minds want to know. Also, now that I've gotten six rolls, I'm not actually gonna keep these other ones thrown away. So I'll get, I'll get all of this toilet paper. So. Ready for quarantine. Okay, y'all, so my truth question is if I could kill anyone in the group uh, to keep Mycroft around forever, who would it be? Why them and how would I do it? <clears throat> and the truth is that I would do this, uh, but I love everybody equally. So I would get everyone together I would serve everyone drinks, and I would poison one of them at random, mix it up, give, and then hand out the drinks. And of course, making sure that I don't get the, the bad one. And then let the fates decide. Or Steven, because he's allergic to dogs, and I just can't fix that. <laughs> Um, so my, um, uh, truth question for Jeremy is, what is the worst sketch we've ever made, uh, that you did not write, act in, or direct? So something you were not involved in, because that's a cop-out. <laughs> what is the worst one? <laughs> what is the worst sketch we've done that I wasn't in, um, a lot easier ones to, to pick from out of those. I'm gonna say that probably objectively something we did in college. I can't pinpoint anything in particular right now. Uh, 
I remember when we were doing Studio C, there, there was one sketch where Matt said centrifuge. I think he was Rumpelstiltskin. Oh yeah, the centrifuge. Oh, the centrifuge thing. Because I think someone brought it up and they were like, I don't really know if this joke works. I think it's probably James. He loved the centrifuge joke. He thought it was the funniest thing in the room and we're all like, it's not really working. So I'm just gonna say that one. And I don't think I was in it. I also don't think it's that bad, but I just know that uh, we, we laugh a lot about <laughs> centrifuge. Idiot. Okay, I just got a bunch of videos from Mal. More than one. So we're going to have a little back and forth truth session, Mal to me. Okay, if you couldn't be married to Steven, who in JK Studios would you be married to? If I had to marry anyone in the cast, I've already talked about it, it's Stacy. He's the most organized and cleanest, and he is kind of type A like I am. I think we could run a household together fairly well. Our kids would be very disciplined. My kids, we wouldn't have kids. My kids, parented by Stacy, would be very disciplined alongside me. Although, if I'm just gonna marry someone to marry someone for like loneliness' sake, I'm just gonna marry you, Mal. We'll just be like Weezer and Clarie, doing our thing. I mean, we're gonna have to figure out how we organize the house, because we're very different in that regard. But, I mean, I, I'm down if you're down. Should we make a pact? Should we do it right now? Girl, you know I'm free. Whitney, truth me this. What is your most embarrassing celebrity crush, and why? I actually talked to Mel about this once. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I thought you would find this amusing. I had a dream last night that I was cheating on Steven with Bill Murray. I think we kissed, but it was like I was falling in love with Bill Murray. It was like a Dan in real life kind of moment where we spent a day together and I just kind of fell in love with him. And it seemed like he fell in love with me. Like he wrote me this letter when he had to go. This was the most meaningful relationship to him. He knew we couldn't be together, but I, was like the love of his life. In my like conscious state of mind, no part of me finds that repulsive. Even though he's like, what, in his 70s now? No part of me hates that idea because it's Bill Murray. <gasps> so, there you go. I haven't even told Steven yet because I went to go work out while he was still sleeping. But I'm gonna go home and tell him. Truth me this, list publicly, every boy you've ever had a crush on. Mal is asking this specifically because she knows I've had a very long history of crushes. Here goes. I had to write it down because I couldn't, I couldn't remember them all off the top of my head. I've probably still forgotten some, so Mal can point some out. This is from starting when I was, oh gosh, there's one more. Hold on. It's starting from when I was four, and I don't remember the first guy's last name. Derek, Adolfo Hernandez, Jeffrey Miller, Tyler Plant, Ethan Borger, Jordan Scott, and then that went on for several years, Sean Rhodes, Alex Granite, Danny Moffat, Spencer Fotheringham, Oliver Schaus, Eric Buell, Nathan Robbins, Chris English, Jesse Klaus, Sam Dunn, Jeff Gerber, Trevor Cox, Dave Vance. Some of these crushes can barely be called crushes. I don't have to defend myself. Trent Leinenbach, Alex Vincent, Chad Nielsen, Adam Heimbigner, Burke Bowthorpe, Bentley Snow, and finally... And Bill Murray. Whitney also had a crush on her fifth grade teacher and one of her college professors, and they were not small crushes. Sean Paul Grand John and Stephen Tuttle. And if any of you boys are watching this and you're like, dang, she had a crush on me, you missed out. Hey boy, bye. Now I just feel like a middle school girl getting her revenge. So my challenge is for James. I dared him to hold all six of his chickens at once. We have six chickens here, and I've been dared to uh, try to hold all of them at the same time. Well, this is gonna be easy, so bring it on. Uh, 
Okay, chickens. This could be easy or it could be hard. Come here, little chicken. Come on, buddy. Oh, gosh. This is. It is so gross in here. Come here, chickens. Um, all right. Let's just get them out of here. Go, chickens, go. Go. All right, chicken. Wait. Okay. Small turtle. Come on. 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 Alright, alright, yeah. I'm gonna have a false sense of security. Hold on, I need a barrier. Alright. Something to keep, keep the pain away. That's how to do it. Alright, this is gonna be easy. Okay, I think I accomplished me. I don't know, there's a missing chicken somewhere. But of the ones that are still here and still alive, I got all five of them for a second. I dare Mallory to peel and eat a banana with her feet. Good luck with that. Maybe the other chicken's laying an egg. Hey, chicken. There, I did the sixth one. I have been dared to try and peel a banana and eat it using only my feet. I don't know who thought of this, but it wasn't Stacy. So, because Stacy hates feet. So, uh, look away, Stacy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very dexterous, even with my hands. This could be a very long video. I'm gonna have to edit it down. <laughs> I'm just gonna mash this to pieces. I don't know how to do this. Is there a human alive who can do this? 
other than people who don't have arms and they have to get really good at using their feet. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. This banana is also a little green, so it makes it a little harder to feel. <laughs> I wish I had long toenails. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. What happens if I just can't do it at all? I'm gonna break my toes on this banana. Hold on. Does it count if I just make a tiny hole in this peel and then just, just let it seep out? Oh gosh. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Banana's peeling. Oh, gross. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel really gross doing this. I should wash my feet more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's so mushy. Okay, that's all you get, perverts. 